Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to review some basic principles of solving equations. Here we have an equation. An equation has a left side, an equal sign, and a right side. And again, when they say solve an equation, that means they're asking us to find the value for x that will make the left side equal to the right side. What must x be so that this equals this? The way we approach that is in a systematic fashion. First, we find if there are parentheses, fractions or decimals inside our equation, then we should eliminate those first. That's the first step. So eliminate if there are any parentheses, fractions, decimals, eliminate those first. Secondly, we're going to move all the terms that have the variable in it to the left side of the equation and all the numbers without the variable to the right side of the equation. The third step, we're going to add like terms. Add all the terms on the left side, add all the terms on the right side. Presumably, when we separate it, all the terms will be like terms, and so we can combine those terms. And finally, we then divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of the variable. Hmm, what do we mean by the numerical coefficient? It's simply the number in front of the variable that we're multiplying the variable by. For example, in this term, 3 would be the numerical coefficient of this term. So in that case, we divide both sides by the number 3, or in this case, negative 3. Well, let's go ahead and solve this problem so you can see how we apply these four steps. First step, since there are fractions, we, must, we need to get rid of the fraction first. So we're going to multiply the 3 by the two terms inside the fraction. That's called dis distributing the 3 on the, on the two terms. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 4 is 12. We still have the minus 3x and the plus 5 equals x plus 1. The next step, we want to move all the terms that have variables in them to the left side of the equation. We have one of those on the right side, so we want to move the x to the left side of the equation. And we want to move all the numbers from the left side to the right side, which means we want to move the 5 over here and we want to move the 12 over here. Remember from the previous uh, video that whenever we move anything across the equal sign, we have to change the sign. On the left side, we end up with the following. We still have the 6x minus 3x, which were already on the left side. When we move the x to the left side, the positive x becomes a negative x. On the right side, we already had the number 1. When we move the 12 to the other side, it becomes a minus 12. And when we move the positive 5 to the other side, we get a minus 5. Now we can combine like terms. That's step number three. We're going to add these terms together. 6 minus 3 minus 1, which gives me 2x, is equal to 1 minus 12 is minus 11, minus 5 is a minus 16. The last step is we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of the variable. In this case, that would be the number 2, which means we're going to divide the left side by 2, and we're going to divide the right side by 2. The 2's cancel out, we end up with x is equal to minus 16 divided by 2 is minus 8, and that's how we solve the equation. We now find that if we replace every x in the original equation with a negative 8, the left side will equal the right side. Let's go ahead and try that just to see how that would work. The original equation was 3 times 2x plus 4 minus 3x equals, oh, I forgot the plus 5, plus 5 equals x plus 1. We're now going to substitute the negative x, negative 8, into each x. This gives us 3 times 2 times negative 8, plus 4, minus 3 times negative 8, plus 5 equals negative 8 plus 1. Simplifying this, we get the following. First, we multiply this together. We get 3 times negative 16 plus 4. A minus 3 times a minus 8 is a plus 24 plus 5 equals a negative 8 plus 1 gives me a negative 7. Continuing to simplify this, negative 16 plus 4 is a negative 12. 3 times a negative 12 plus 24 plus 5 equals negative 7. And multiplying this together, we get negative 36 plus 24 plus 5 equals negative 7. Now the question mark, is that true? Well, negative 36 plus 24 is a negative 12. Add 5 to that, we get negative 7, which means that, yes indeed, negative 7 equals negative 7. That means that this was the correct solution to our problem. 
we found the solution, we solved for the equation, we realized that when x equals negative 8, the left side equals the right side. And that's what we mean by solving equations.